after a few months of teasing us, the Alexa 35 is finally here and it's here to take over. A brand new cinema camera with 17 stops of dynamic range with a newly developed 4.6K sensor which has a brand new color science called reveal and Ari is going to be revealing this camera very very soon but we are going to talk about that today. It's very impressive that this camera has a 2.5 more stops of dynamic range and it's Ari newest sensor in almost 12 years and we are going to see what 17 stops of dynamic range looks like. I'm also going to tell you a few things that are so confusing about this camera because I actually thought this was going to be the Alexa mini replacement, but obviously it is not. I'm also going to tell you a few things that I do like about this camera. So let's check what the Alexa 35 is all about. Starting from the body, I actually thought this camera was going to be a smaller than the Alexa Mini, but this is almost the size of the Alexa Mini LF, but heavier than the Alexa Mini with a different form factor, which looks more handheld friendly and that is good for every DP or every one man band. This camera body has a three antenna for the built-in Wi-Fi module. Just like the previous Alexa, the Alexa 35 has a built-in ND filter which are 0 0.6, 1.2, and 1.8. Also, this camera has a new sensor, which I'm guessing the next ARRI or the next generation of ARRI camera will be using with this revealed color science. Best believe it, we are going to see the LF version of this camera. And my guess is that since this camera has nothing to do with the Alexa Mini or the Alexa Mini LF, this is an introduction to what could potentially be a sensor that will be used in all next generation RE camera, but we have to wait and see only because the Alexa 35 has better dynamic range and better sensor than the Alexa Mini and the Mini LF. And in my opinion, if you're shooting Super 35 and you're not bothered about large formats, the Alexa Super 35 will be a great option. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when you are shooting with the Alexa 35, you get 4.6K resolution, which is more than what you get when you are shooting Super 35 with the Alexa Mini LF. Obviously, you get the large format downscale downsampling to Super 35, but I would always pick resolution and dynamic range over everything else. You also have 17 stops of dynamic range, which will be every cinematographer's first choice because of the flexibility that it offer and combined with the reveal color science, this is this camera's unique selling point. Something that I really like about this camera from the look of it is the design and how everything is well placed together. Compared to my Alexa Mini, this is way better because this camera will be a very, very good to have on set and very easy to use and nothing is on your way or nothing is blocking you when trying to reach or accessing anything on this camera like it was on the Alexa Mini. Something that I really used to hate about the Alexa Mini is that the design felt a bit rush and the media placement was very awkward, especially when you had a camera fully rigged with the full plate and you really didn't have enough room to access, remove, uh, or really trying to open the C-Fast card. But with the Alexa 35, you can tell Ari really took their time to make this camera and they design it and make everything really accessible, which is very good. Also, the side display is very, very good for anyone that you are working with to see the camera information without actually having to wait for you, the DP, to finish using the viewfinder, which is something that makes this camera very accessible for any film make out any operator. Compared to Alexa Mini, the Alexa 35 has more custom button which make this camera faster to use, especially 
when mounted on a RE Trinity, on a gimbal, on a car rig, or on anything. Something that filmmaker would love more about this camera is that the Alexa 35 would give you 1.5 stop more in a highlight and one stop in a shadow, which is way more than any previous camera from RE would offer, while retaining that naturalistic film-like highlight roll off. In terms of resolution, the highest you can shoot is 120 frames per second, but since this is a B mount, which means it can take more power, this also has a brand new sensor, I was expecting to see maybe 240 frames per second, but you never know, Ari might come up with something new or an update very, very soon. And something that I've noticed is that Ari don't really prioritize like high frame rates because most of their cameras are actually used by top dogs, DPs in the industry, and they always focus on shooting 24 frames a second. But listen, Ari, the music video guys and the food commercial guys, they do want that slow motion but with the Alexa 35, you can shoot 4.6K open get, 4.6K 16x9, 4K 16x9, 4K 2 to 1, and anamorphic and this other amazing resolution. The camera has an LPL mount, but I'm guessing soon we will see EF and any other range of accessories available from Ari. The Alexa 35 will be way good in low light because it is designed to have this enhanced sensitivity mode, which will make this camera great in any lighting condition. And my guess is, that is the dual native ISO that they are talking about. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing these cameras in more Hollywood project, music video, commercial, and many more. This camera shares so many accessories with the Alexa Mini LF, such as the Codex and the Viewfinder, which is actually very good. And in my opinion, uh, the codex is still expensive, but hey, if you own a Lamborghini, you, you still be able to afford the insurance and fuel. And something that I do like about this camera is that it would work very good with a monitor just on top for handheld application. Or if you was to put this on the drone or a gimbal again, it will be very good. And something that I really like about this over the Alexa Mini is that you can actually unplug and plug the viewfinder without having to turn the camera on and off like when you used to do with the Alexa Mini. Also, another thing that I do like about this camera is how I renamed it the Alexa 35, which is very simple and it's not very confusing. And something that I was actually expecting because there's an Alexa Mini LF, the Alexa Mini, my thought was that this was going to be kind of like a smaller version of those three camera that will be able to work on like a gimbal and drone just like the red komodo but obviously i was wrong and as i've said this is going to be a camera or a sensor that's going to be used in the next generation re cameras and i'm actually looking forward to see what this camera offers okay guys that is everything for today thank you so much for watching tell me anything in the comments that you like about the alexa 35 as always, if you're new here, my name is Kashi Lembo and on this channel, we talk about gear review, unboxing, and basically anything that help you guys to improve your visual storytelling. Again, big up to the Any Creative crew for filming this video in their studio. I'll be seeing you soon. Peace. Mm. Yay! Yeah. Just made it. I know, right?